almost at 11 o'clock. Thank you so much. And we just arrived at LAP bus station. Uh, very far away from the hotel. This person is helping us getting the transport. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my god, what a journey. What a journey. <laughs> Hungry. Hungry. The backwaters of Kerala, India are a geographical wonder known as the Venus of the East. Spanning over 900 kilometers of interconnected rivers, lakes, canals, and lagoons, these backwaters create a network that showcases the region's natural beauty and cultural heritage. <laughs> We're back. We are still recovering from that six hours bus ride from Muna. True, like, but literally yesterday we spent the whole day sitting and commuting, like in a very not super comfortable way, but it's okay, it's part of the adventure. It was actually kind of interesting. It was like a roller coaster slash bus slash sightseeing. And here now we are at this amazing site that the owner of the place we're saying recommended. He has a half Buddha. Do you want to explain a little bit more about the half Buddha? Well, with boys next to us just explain an elephant kicked the Buddha and yeah. half of the body is gone. They found the Buddha in the river and they have it installed here. Okay. And this is a super nice location by the way, yeah. when right next to the little canal. Next. The next adventure, next stop. We just went into this local restaurant, ordered tapioca and duck curry. And snack! Yoga time! <laughs> <laughs> As the sun painted the sky with vibrant colors, we immersed ourselves in yoga practice on the sandy shores. We felt the gentle warmth of the setting sun on our skin and let the sound of waves guide our movements. We took a refreshing dip into the water of Alapi. The water was surprisingly warm. Looking for some dessert and we came across this cute shop where they've got a really interesting chai. Biryani chai. Biryani chai. It's just a make. It's just a making process. Sorry. It's con it contains more amount of milk. Ah. Then that we make it as a froth model. Uh -huh. Then above above the froth uh, we will put the essence of tea and uh, sprinkle some sugar. Then it will be biryani. So it's special. Okay. Very available here. Just woke up face. Yeah. Zombie face, we got eaten by mosquitoes. Eaten alive by mosquitoes last night, but it's okay, we are trying to practice equanimity. We are heading to the backwater trip today, a day trip. It's around 8 o'clock now, we'll be back around 3 in the afternoon. Uh, so we get picked up by Tuk Tuk. Where is it? 
Instead of the conventional house bulbs, we decided to go for the local public bulb package. Not only was it more affordable, but it also provided us with an opportunity to immerse ourselves in the local culture and see the daily life of the people in Alapi. As the boat glided through the calm waters, we were captivated by the breathtaking scenery, the lush greenery and the endless rice paddy fields. After around half an hour, we just got dropped off at this ferry station and the ferry continues. But we are the only uh, visitors, I guess. And people are just doing their um, laundry or fishing. <laughs> it's very green, surrounded by the rice field, and it feels very, very, very local. Water, water. Hello. We just finished our breakfast and going to canoeing now and uh, Honor's brother is gonna take us there. Huh? Great, I love it. <laughs> I'm too tall for this one. Yes. It's okay. This is the boat, it's so tiny and short, but you can lean back, so you relax in time. It was fascinating to witness the seamless integration of the friendly locals with the river. Swimming in a soup is very soothing, it's very calm, and it's very slow. But at the same time, it doesn't feel slow, it just feels right. Like we were meant to be moving at this speed, at this time, in this place. Reaching out of the boat, you can almost touch the beautiful leaves. And sometimes you can see the sunlight through the leaves. Taking a short break before lunch. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you. <sighs> Step into a world of natural beauty and cultural wonders as we discovered the backwaters of Karela. The scenic waterways recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site are a must-visit destination for every traveler. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was amazing, just so relaxing, all the water everywhere. And there is this peace and calm and silence. Everybody is so chill here, and smiling and friendly. And it's just, it just looks like a paradise. And everything moves so slow, rhythm to this place. And it's just slow and steady and calm. I think this is one of the most relaxing experiences I've ever had. So worth it. Yes, bring the mindset that this is a very relaxing and calming experience mm. uh, and just come and enjoy it it's the perfect activity to do i get some peace in your body <laughs>